Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Geminis. Gemini, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on, and I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. Also, before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that I have launched Zodiac birthday candles in my Etsy shop, and the link is down below. So if you're interested in a small gift for yourself or a special Gemini in your life, and of course I have them for each and every Zodiac sign, you may want to check them out. All right. Um, if these messages in this reading resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Geminis for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my dearest Geminis for their highest and greatest good. And happy birthday to my Geminis out there. You show my channel and myself so much love. So it's truly appreciated, okay? All right, so your energy, the seven of pentacles. So an energy of waiting. You're viewing your person as the six of swords. And you're viewing the relationship as the ace of pentacles in reverse, okay? Your person is showing up as the knight of wands in reverse. They're viewing you as the nine of wands, okay? And they're viewing the relationship as temperance energy, Sagittarius, in reverse. What's going on between you? We have Cancerian energy, the chariot. We have the queen of swords, that's you, Gemini. And we have the five of cups energy in reverse. Okay, so there's definitely potential for healing. All right, we've got the Queen of Cups in reverse, though. So this is a bit of a distorted feminine energy. Now, it is possible, Gemini, that there is some sort of third-party interference. This could be a romantic rival. This could be, you know, like a mother-in-law. Um, this could be, you know, it feels feminine in nature, but it doesn't have to be. Um, it could be a friend. Um, of course, it could be a romantic rival. But Gemini, you're in this energy of Seven of Pentacles, kind of waiting, kind of strategizing, looking at the past. Something, you know, I feel you've definitely invested time and energy into this connection, or a lot of time and energy, rather, into this connection. And you're kind of holding back. It feels like you're waiting, you're holding back to either get clarity about what decision to make here. I do feel for a lot of my Geminis, you do want to heal things with this person, but you're like waiting to hear from them or waiting to know, like see how they act, what decision they make possibly, maybe just trying to get more information. Yeah, you will be getting the clarity that you need to make that decision with that two of swords flipping out in reverse. Gemini's, a lot of you, you feel like your person may be moving on here with the Six of Swords. And like I said, for some of you, maybe it is a third party situation and they have moved on with somebody else. I feel like you would definitely already know that. All right. And we get the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. A lot of my gems, you feel like I, this person maybe has left you behind or left you out in the cold. I do also think, though, that you're really taking a look at, did this person pull their weight in the relationship? And I feel that's really important for my gems to take a look at. Like, was this a balanced relationship? Um, you know, were they doing their part? Were they meeting you halfway? I do see a lot of you seeing the relationship as the Ace of Pentacles is like a missed opportunity. Um, it can also be like a yes, but not right now card. So you know that there's something here blocking this connection or needs to be clear or needs to be figured out. Yeah, and this is, you know, in this two of wands, I always see that stag as a little bit of an energy block. But remember, those of you who are familiar with deer, for the most part, you know, they kind of can be intimidating. But if you do move forward, they tend to run off quickly. So I do feel like there may be some energy blockages here. But if he just takes that step you know, the blockages, the obstacles can be removed and there can be forward movement. But I do see my gems. You haven't fully made up your mind about what to do here. I don't see you fully giving to this connection right now. Um, and it looks like your person with the Knight of Wands, they may have rushed off. Um, they may have always sort of, you may have always felt they had one foot in the door and one foot out. 
This person could have you blocked. The King of Swords can definitely be an ex, but I do want you to be careful here, Gemini, because the King of Swords in reverse, especially in a love reading, can be somebody who's kind of, you know, well, not kind of, somebody who's selfish. They can be a little bit mean as well, that King of Swords in reverse. You know, sometimes um, it can also indicate like narcissistic behavior. Um, it could also just indicate that this person has a blocked throat chakra, so they don't say what they mean, mean what they say. And you may have always kind of been guessing with this person, or at least lately, right? Guessing like, what's up? Are they dealing with somebody else? Where do we stand? Um, and this could also indicate that they have you blocked or they're just not communicating right now. Now they're viewing you as the nine of wands, so they do see that you're definitely guarded. Now this is somebody who's been beat up in love. Um, but they also know that you're kind of waiting, that you still hold a torch for them, Gemini. And yeah, they, they know that you, some of you, you're waiting for this person to make it up to you. For others of you, you know, they, they know that you don't want to wait much longer or you're not going to wait much longer, um, you know, for them to either reach out or make a move or make some sort of decision here. Now, they're viewing the relationship as temperance in reverse. So for some of my Geminis, they may have really felt like this connection moved too fast um, like maybe, you know, things got too, too serious too quickly for others of you, you know, there can indicate like a bit of toxicity with the temperance energy in reverse. Like there was something unhealthy or something imbalanced here. And we see the eight of swords energy in reverse. So some of my gems, I know this is a tough love message and I can't really change the messages that are coming through. So the Eight of Swords in reverse, for some of you, this person feels a sense of freedom. Maybe they felt like there was something really draining them. You know, for a lot of my gems too, it is possible that you have somebody who's got some financial issues. Like, I don't know if they're struggling to pay their mortgage or they have debt or something like that, or they're trying to reach some sort of savings goal. Um, because I do feel like this person may be a bit in like survival mode is kind of what I'm getting. Um, trying to, you know, maybe didn't have enough, you know, didn't have enough time or resources to really give to a relationship. Now we do have Cancerian energy, so I do feel like by Cancer season you are going to get the clarity that you need to make a decision here, Gemini. And yeah, so for some of you, it's like with that Ace of Pentacles energy, it's like a yes but not right now card. You may have to wait a little bit longer. And as you know, I'm not an advocate of putting your life on hold, Gemini. Okay, but it feels like there's a need to sort of hold back for the, you know, for the next little while. And again, doesn't mean you put your life on hold and you sit around waiting for somebody who's not taking action, somebody who's not communicating, not meeting you halfway. Um, really, it sort of depends on your situation. But I do feel there's a coming out of the cold. With the Queen of Swords energy, it's like this is clarity and communication coming your way. So I do think you're going to hear from this person um, and we get the King of Pentacles energy in reverse. Yeah. But I want you to be careful because I do feel gems like this person. I don't know if they like to be indulged or they can be a bit of a player or they've got one foot in the door and one foot out. You might get communication. This person might say, Hey, I can't really invest in like a committed relationship right now. Um, but we do see this possibility of healing with the five of cups and let's see. And we get the five of wands. Yeah, it, there may be some challenges to healing this connection. Um, I do think you're going to get some sort of communication. But I'm, I'm not sure it's going to be the communication that you want to hear. All right. And we have a queen of wands showing up. So I do see that this person is quite passionate about you. They're still very attracted to you. But I do feel with two queens flanking this reading, Gemini, there's something here about your person having a third party. Some of you, you might know that. And like I said, for some of you, it could just be like a maternal influence, like a mother-in-law type energy. It could be a friend. And again, it doesn't have to be a woman per se. Um, so let's see. Hmm. I, I kind of feel like your person's not ready to make any sort of commitment. And, and I want you to be careful because there might be communication and there might be some sort of healing right? Something that they're going to say that's going to make you feel better, but it's not really going to be what you want. So that's where you really have to be in alignment here, Gemini. Okay. So let's see, we've got hand of cards. Um, all right. So spirit saying, take a chance being strategic. So I do feel this is your energy, Gemini with the seven of pentacles. That is a card of being strategic. This is kind of like keeping your cards close to your chest. I kind of feel like spirit saying, you know, you probably don't want to like be reaching out too much to this person. Um, kind of let them 
kind of, yeah, just, I, I kind of just feel like this is keep your cards close to your chest. There is love here, but also remember that you deserve unconditional love. Um, so stay, stay in a high vibration in an energy of self love. I, I do think that there is love here. Hmm. Let's see what's going on with your person or what we need to know about them. All right. Engagement ring. Okay. And we get the snake. Hmm. Yeah. There's definitely some sort of competition here. There's a lot of passion between you and this person, Gemini. I do think this person deep down does want some sort of commitment, but there's some sort of interference here. And I just want you to be, be smart about that. Okay. Just be really smart about that. Let's see. Let's see what they're and for some of you, the interference here can be distance. Um, it can also be work. Um, and some of you, maybe you already know this person's involved with somebody else. You know, there it is a real possibility that you're waiting for this person to leave a commitment or they were making promises to leave another situation and they just haven't. So just be aware. So this person, what they'd like to say to you is, I'm sorry I hurt you and also hurt myself in the process. Please forgive me. And it's hard for me to let go. So there's something here. They have some sort of attachment here, whether it's a person, whether it's like workaholic tendencies. But I also think it's hard for them to let go of you. They certainly haven't. And some of you, there's a, there's differences in like love language or, you know, you come from different backgrounds. And again, I, I kind of got that early on. Like if there's like a maternal or family influence or advice, like you two are very different, which doesn't mean you can't come together. Um, but this person definitely thinks about that. Is it possible for us to blend our culture because my heritage means a lot to me? So there's definitely a need for, for compromise there on both sides if that's the case. All right, let's see what, what spirit would like you to know about this connection, please, for my Geminis. What else would my, would my spirit, what else would my, what else do my Geminis need to hear? Messages and guidance, please, spirit. Yeah, I told you financial challenges are affecting this connection for sure. A lot of you, this person at work or like paying the mortgage, um, but your true love is already a part of your, your life. There is love here, but spirit's also telling you to stay present. Remember that old adage, Gemini, that like spending too much time in the past, you know, creates depression and way too much time in the future will create anxiety. Spirit saying, take it slow. So with this ace of pentacles, a lot of my gems, you kind of already know, take your time getting to know each other. For some of you, things were, you know, you, um, you know, things might have been like a bit rushed or moved too quickly between you and this person, and there was some, you know, major pullback. All right, final advice for my Gemini's, please. Anything else? Oh, okay. Spirit saying your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You can. This is something you can manifest, Gemini. Okay, but you need to stay high vibrational, and there's also a need to be patient. And um, Spirit's also saying clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So important decisions coming your way, Gemini. All right, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. Um, if you're interested in your Zodiac candle, a private reading, um, my links to TikTok and Instagram, or the cards I'm using, all that info is down below. Take care.